hello welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you some tips tricks as well as some common site techniques that will improve your googling skills and we start now google is the most popular search engine in the world compared to bing and yahoo it was founded on 4th september 1998 and has since played a crucial role in education by enhancing the efficiency and productivity of students. Currently, almost anyone can search for anything from anywhere provided you have the internet connection or access with the help of Google. It may interest you to know that billions of people use Google search every day for various reasons. Students use it to search for definition of words and read about educative articles, projects, and information to aid their studies in school. Businesses, on the other hand, use it for research and millions more use it for entertainment. Apart from searching for the meaning of words, Google can forecast the weather, translate languages, offer you directions, and a lot more. But the side aspect is that most people may not be using Google search to its fullest potential. If you have ever tried to search for a particular result or want to understand a couple of tips and tricks, then the following will improve your Googling skills. The first tip is to use the tabs in Google search to your advantage. By the top of each search you make are several tabs. Usually you will see all images, shopping, news, videos, maps, and more. If you would like to check on videos on related search ideas, you refer to the videos tab at the top. If you want images, you use the images tab and if you are trying to find the recent news or stories, use the news tab. This will reduce the amount of time you spend in searching for a particular idea. But hey, most people use the tabs already. If you have never tried this approach before, then I advise you start exploring them to your advantage. I believe you'll find that handy. Tip 2. Start with the basics. You can make Google search even better by making your way simple. Yes, no matter what you're looking for, start with a simple search like, where's the closest gas station? You can always add a few descriptive words if necessary. If you're looking for a place or a product in a specific location, add a city, for instance, Restaurants, Accra. Also, searching for restaurants nearby in Google will pull results of restaurants that are closer to you. Tip 3. Choose your words carefully. When you're deciding what words to put in a search box, try to choose the words that are likely to appear on the site you're looking for. For example, instead of typing my head hurts, type headache because that's the word most medical sites would use. Tip 4. Don't worry about the little things. Apart from special operators, spellings and capitalization of words are not necessary as Google does not take them into account when finding results. Google Spell Checker automatically uses the most common spelling of a given word whether or not you spell it correctly. So a search for uppercase nursing and military is the same search for lowercase nursing and military. Tip 5. Specific ways of finding your answers quickly. For many of your searches, Google will do the work for you and show you answers to your question in your search results. But in searching for specific ideas and information, there is no need to type in a whole lot of sentences in the Google search. For instance, by searching weather, Google will give you the current weather forecast even as you type. However, you can search weather and add a city name to find weather report for a certain place like weather, Accra. Here's another example. Time. 
You know, calculating the time difference between regions is a very difficult thing to do. So instead of just racking your brains, why not let Google do that work for you? Here's how to do it. Type time and add any location to return a card with up-to-date local time of your search. Likewise, if you like to know when the sun rises or sets in your current location, type sunrise or sunset. Also, you can search sunrise or sunset and add a city or town to return sunrise or sunset times for other places as well. To see the definition of any word at all, put the keyword defined in front of the word. This will bring out the dictionary, which you can search further the respective antonyms and synonyms to the word. The next interesting example, calculations. If you want to solve for basic math equations like the 3 times 6 or even solve complex equations, type them in Google search. This will pull up a scientific calculator for other calculations too. One exciting thing about Google is it can assist you to convert both measurement units and currency value. There are diverse uses for this, like checking to see the conversion rate between two countries. Enter any conversion, like thread dollars in euros, and you have it at your disposal. Do you know by typing a flight number in Google, return a card with up-to-date times and even terminal information? Well, you can have a try now. If you are looking to book a flight, check out Google Flights to find the cheapest flights in your area online. I'll leave a link to the description below. So let's continue with the tip number six. Refine your web searches. Do you know you can use the symbols or words to search to make your search results more precise? Yeah, Google search usually ignores punctuations. That isn't part of the search operator. Very simple. Don't put spaces between the symbol or word and your search term. For an instance, a search for site column at the passenger.com will work, but site column a space at the passenger.com won't. Tip 7. Common search techniques. You can search for a particular social media platform by putting the at sign in front of any word you search at all. For example, at Twitter. To search for a price, put the accepted currency symbol in front of the number. To search for hashtags, put the pound sign in front of the word. Example, throwback Thursday. Make use of the asterisk. Using an asterisk in a search term on Google search will leave a placeholder that may be automatically filled by the search engine later. It can be helpful if you have forgotten part of the word or phrase. It is useful when searching for lyrics of songs or brilliant quotes from your favorite room model. Let us take a look at the centers. Amazing star, how sweet star. Here, Google will find the word or phrase knowing that asterisk indicated can be any word or phrase. Usually, you will find the lyrics of the song Amazing Grace. Next, exclude words from your search. This is applied when you want to exclude words or phrases from your search results. Put the minus sign in front of the word you want to leave out. Example, Jaguar, speed, minus car. But to search for the exact match, use the quotation marks. Searching with the quotation marks around your word will force Google to use the exact match. For instance, searching for tallest building in quote will surface results with the exact math terms and their ordering in the content of a particular web page. To search within a range of numbers, put dot dot between the two numbers. For example, Combining searches. If you're looking for the results about a particular topic or another, then use the or to get more specific results. For example, searching for marathon or race will surface results relating to either term. Try it out. If you like to see results from a specific web or domain, use site column, followed by the uniform resource locator you would like to use. For example, site 
youtube.com or site.gov. Searching for related websites. You can look for similar website by adding the keyword related in front of the web address you already know. Let's have a look. If you are looking for a selected file on the web, use the file tab keyboard operator to look for uploaded files that match your query. For instance, use file type colon PDF to search for PDF files or file type DOC to locate a web office document. Having stayed up to this point, I have a bonus tip for you. Are you feeling bored? Do you have to wait for a friend for hours at the bus station? Why not trying to play games to keep yourself busy? Google has a list of built-in games and tools you can access. These games include our famous Pac-Man, Tic-Tac-Toe, Solitaire, Minesweeper, and Snake. Do you want to flip a coin on a decision? Well, search flip a coin in Google. And you have it. Same thing, do you want to roll a die? Search dice or spinner in Google and you have it. To add to this, Google has a built-in calculator, metronome, briefing exercise app, and a color picker that provides hex code, decimal codes for any sheet. Very handy for graphic designers. Search for ask you and tell me what will happen to your screen. Leave the description of your results in the comment section. Likewise, try to search for fun facts or I'm feeling curious and you get a fun fact card filled with a bit of trivia and a chance to get another random fact. Festivals will add a festivals poll to the left side of your screen. Try it out. The most interesting of all, type do a barrel rule. And let me know what will happen to your screens at the comment section. I'm waiting for you there. You can always learn more tips and tricks from Google. Check it out in their help center. I'll leave the link in the description below. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Stay safe.